Adonis and Daroka arriving at the Principality of Mamuda after traveling for a while and Daroka notices that this is an immigration state. She asks Adonis if he is really going to start a fight here and Adonis mentions that he might. Daroka states that a big city like this might have a lot of soldiers and weapons and Adonis wonders what she's trying to say. Daroka states that not even Adonis would come out and scaff from this but Adonis doesn't reply to her. Daroka then mentions that they should play rock, paper, scissors and the loser has to do something for the winner. Adonis mentions that he doesn't want to and Daroka states that it's a popular game on the streets and it must be fun. Adonis mentions that he is not playing since he has never heard of this and Daroka still pesters him to play. And they then enter the city. Everything in this city also seems to be in ruins and Adonis thinks that you won't have anything left to do if humans kill themselves on their own. Daroka then notices a woman on the road and Adonis applies the brakes on the motorbike. Daroka goes to check up on the woman and Adonis asks her to not let her guard down. Daroka mentions that this woman might not have much time left and she asks the woman if something happened to her. Adonis then tells Daroka to get away as that is not a person, and the woman then analyzes Daroka and she states that her pleasure value is 34, which is low but anyone will do as long as she gets to experience pleasure. She then tries to attack Daroka, but Adonis shoots her down. He then helps Daroka get up, and he tells her that this is a Madoa mechanical doll. It's a plaything for humans and the two of them hear sounds of Madoas coming from a building. Adonis goes inside the building and he asks Daroka to wait outside. Daroka states that she will come with Adonis, but Adonis asks her not act without his permission and stay here if she doesn't want him to leave her behind. He tells her to shout if anything happens and he goes inside the building. Afterwards, Daroka gets scared seeing the bodies of some Madoas and meanwhile Adonis uses magic to create a light source in the building. We see that Daroka is following Adonis and she thinks that she is not doing this to make Adonis mad. She promised Punch that she would keep him out of harm's way and she thinks that it's alright as Adonis is not heartless enough to leave a girl behind in an abandoned city. Even if he finds her, he would just brush it off and Daroka then remembers that Adonis did leave her behind in the wastelands. She thinks that Adonis only did that to keep her out of trouble and he is kind of scary when he is mad. But he has never hurt her. Daroka then remembers that Adonis did hurt her back when they first met each other and Adonis then finds Daroka. He angrily states that he told her not to follow him and wonders if she doesn't take him seriously. Daroka then apologizes to Adonis and she mentions that she thought about this and she thinks that it's better for them to stick together. She states that she is carrying the bag with all of their things, trying to make an excuse and Adonis mentions that this does make sense and he tells her to do whatever she wants but not get in his way. The two of them then explore the building together and they hear the voices of Madoas coming from a room. Adonis states that this room smells like death, and inside the room he notices some Madoas is trying to pleasure themselves using dead men. Seeing this Adonis thinks that this must be what it means to be consumed by desire, and he thinks that he didn't know that they made Madoas like these. They are practically the copies of humans and he notices that they were made in Redia. One of the Madoas then states that she only wanted someone to love her, and she is sick of all this. She starts crying and Adonis is surprised that they have a sense of self. The Madoas ask why they were made and why they were programmed like this, as they never asked for this life. Adonis then shoots them, and the Madoas thank him. Elsewhere, we see two girls from the Suzer Special Espionage Unit Kunochi crew, named 5 and 6, going somewhere, and they encounter sentries from Redia on their way. 6 asks 5 what they should do about them, and 5 mentions that they are going to pass right through. The two of them then take care of all the sentries, and then go ahead. Back at Mamuda, Adonis thinks that a world that can create any toy is bound to produce sex robots and it's inevitable that women who exist only to provide pleasure would be created. Adonis thinks that the humans are scum and he then asks Daroka if she recognizes this. Daroka states that these are the manacles from the Redian concentration camp and Adonis mentions that it must not have been easy for this nation to import so many sex robots. He states that they must have offered their own women in exchange for more sexually pleasing dolls and Mamuda probably exported all the women in their nation to the Great Redia Empire. They let go of their wives and daughters, also they could purchase these sex robots. Adonis mentions that this is the true nature of the humans and he states that this city fell into ruin because without women the next generation couldn't be born. The men drowned in pleasure and rotted away and a nation like this cannot last. Adonis mentions that this might not be the only nation that fell this way and he states that the gear expansion makes him want to puke. Adonis then gathers some machinery and he tries to make something and Daroka asks him what he is making. Adonis states that it's an improvised EMP but Daroka doesn't understand this. Adonis then tells her that he's going to put the meadows to rest and Daroka realizes that he's going to mercy kill them and she wonders if this is going to hurt them. 
Adonis states that they will just feel a small shock and he passes his magic through the machinery to create an EMP wave. This puts the Meadows to rest, and one of them says something before shutting down and hearing this Daroka cries and she thinks that she is glad that Adonis is here with her right now. Meanwhile, Five and Six watch Adonis from a distance, and Five can't believe that this is the wanted man from Redia. She mentions that he looks like a teenager, and Six asks her to not underestimate him, as that rebel has given considerable trouble to Redia Empire. He attacked the new nightmare in retaliation for the witch hunts, and after slaughtering numerous citizens, he even annihilated the elite force sent after him. Five mentions that she thought that they weren't supposed to touch witch stuff, and Six states that officially they are not, but Emperor Sujur instructed them to capture anything that might help them keep Redia in check. Five then thinks that Emperor Sujur might reward them if they succeed, and they might finally get to live in the capital. Six states that she is willing to live anywhere as long as she is with her sister and they then go to take down Adonis. Six states that she will deal with the woman and she asks Five to capture the wizard apprentice. Shirusaji is also a Memuda and he notices the two of them. He faces off against them, and they ask him who he is. The two of them try to attack him. A scene cuts to Daroka, praying for Meadows at the grave she built for them. She mentions that this is all she can do for them and she tells them to rest in peace. Adonis states that offering her condolences won't do any good and he mentions that erecting graves and praying is just a simple way for the living to cope. He mentions that there is only one thing she can do, if she wants to honor the Madoas, and it's to give the humans a taste of their resentment. Daruka states that this wouldn't be right, and Adonis notices that she has also created a grave for the witches of Lunamilia. Adonis then states that Daroka should stay here forever, as she does enjoy sneveling. He mentions that the witches on Luna Milia were killed by the humans, that he lured to them, and he asks Daroko why she would travel with him knowing that he states that this is her last chance to reconsider, and Daroka then shows Adonis the dolls she made earlier. She mentions that she doesn't want to blame Adonis or argue with him, and she knows that the witches were trying to use Adonis. She states that their desire for magic items to use against humanity let them abduct Adonis and provoke him in an attempt to rescue Klo. They betrayed him, and Adonis then apologizes to Daroka, and he states that they should go. Doroka mentions that now they have made up, and Adonis asks her to take off those crappy dolls from her bag. Doroka mentions that she is quite proud of these, and Adonis asks her if she doesn't have any other skills. They then notice Shirusaji sitting on their bike, and Doroka asks him who he is. Adonis states that he is clearly an enemy, and Shirusaji then destroys the bike. We see that he has killed five and six, and he introduces himself to Adonis and Doroka. That's where this video ends. You have to click on the right to see its next part. And to see best anime recap on my channel, you have to click on the left. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe to see more contents of this.